This video is about moving abroad because you're sick and tired of the money-grubbing culture. My discussions on you know my experiences uh, here abroad and just uh, yesterday we were in Guayaquil one of the things that happens when you travel out of the Cuenca Azuay area you leave the metered taxi zone and you enter into the twilight zone <laughs> when it comes to taxis you know you just enter into what's called the, the market and the market is always dicta dictated by money grubbing interests. I mean, you know, how else can you really say it, right? Because the guys with the most money, when it's based on market prices, the guys with the most money always dictate the prices. Here's what I'm talking about. Uh, we were yesterday trying to get some paperwork done as you know I just made that video about being in Azogas and all that and then we went to Guayaquil and uh, so we had to go to uh, a government office you know I know what the rates are pretty much around town in Guayaquil but here's what happens even though you know the rates number one you don't have metered taxis so there's nothing holding anybody uh, down to to the local rate and number two what happens is this government office just happened to be in the really expensive part of Guayaquil called San Bernardon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but... It is the, uh, or at least one of the wealthy, wealthiest areas in in Guayaquil. Now why why a government office would be there, I don't know. I didn't put it there. So, you know, so I'm just this frugal guy, right? Trying to go get some paperwork done. But every time I try to get out there, because this is a huge city and I'm not getting on the buses uh, in Guayaquil. I'll tell you about that in a different video. So I'm, I'm just trying to go get some paperwork done, but the government office just happens to be in the, <laughs> the super wealthy area. And so good luck trying to, you know, being a foreigner and trying to get a taxi to go to this really wealthy area in Guayaquil. Everybody wants to charge you 75 to 100% more of what would normally be the metered taxi rate. So, you know, that's something you have to contend with when, uh, when you travel. And, you know, it can be really challenging because we had to go back and forth. Uh, it turned out as it usually does with dealing with government offices that, uh, you know, your paperwork needs a little extra. And so you got to go back and forth more often and more times than you thought you would. So yeah, we had to go back and forth a couple, two, three times. And yeah, we spent like $26 on taxis, which was extraordinary. Let's put it that way. Yeah, when I went to Azogas, uh, it wasn't it wasn't like that, you know, because the taxis were metered. But uh, but in Waikil, they're not metered. So my focus isn't the the metering. My focus is, you know, you see a lot of discussions sometimes where where people want to move abroad, saying they want to escape the the money-grubbing culture, but really, <laughs> is that really possible? Uh, yes, it is possible. You can do it, but it's it's here. It's it's here. It's not just there. It is here. And you got to understand that, you know, the very same characters that are players uh, in, in that culture are, are moving down to these places too. So, uh, yeah, you know, I just had that thought today and I thought I would I would uh, elucidate it or share it uh, here on this video. So I just wanted to uh, you know touch on that because it's a I see this this school of thought going around and and then I have these experiences and I'm like light bulb.